Mark Duda with us here on the John Mandola Show at our Carol and Janelle as uh, we talk about the Lackawanna College Falcons. Coach, huge win this past weekend. You guys fly to Utah, take on snow. Let's talk a little bit about the experience. Well, it was a heck of a trip, you know, for our guys, too. We flew. It was a long way. We went into New York City and then flew from there to Salt Lake, then to Provo, and then out, out to play those guys. But snow has been good for a long time. Uh, John, they were ranked seventh coming in, and we beat them at home, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, you held them without a touchdown. Uh, we're going back to the 90s <laughs> for that. The last time Snow didn't score a touchdown in a game was 1997. Um, and they've been national champions and stuff before as well. A whole bunch of kids who are Mormons who go out and go on their missions, come back at 24 and play at 24 at Snow, and then go off to BYU in Utah. So just a, just a heck of an experience for our guys, and they, they play really hard. Let's talk first about uh, you know your first game was canceled. So you guys are chomping at the bit a little bit, then you're able to play at Wagner. Take us through those first couple of weeks. You think you take anything from that? You know, it's been it's been an, an orthodox start to the season. I, you know, we were going to start out and play at Miami, a team we're going to play this week uh, at two o'clock um, at uh, Memorial Stadium in Scranton. We rescheduled them, so we lost that because of the hurricane. And then we played Wag Wagner's JVs, and they're a good group of kids, but they're a JV team, and they're not really used to working together. So we won convincingly, like 54 to nothing. But then we go and play one of the strongest teams in the United States. Okay, so we didn't really know what we had and what we didn't have. Uh, and so the and the ball game was an absolute crazy game. It was six nothing them, six three. We come back in the second half and we score a touchdown. We make it 10-6. That goes all the way until a minute before the ball game's over. We scoop a fumble and score and get another touchdown for insurance. But but the game was nip and tuck all the way through. Let's talk about uh, defensively. You have to be very pleased on what you're able to do with, with leaving them out of the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, we were pleased. You know, it was 90 degrees and we were at one mile altitude. Okay, so we're basically at altitude that would, that would you know, kids were getting nosebleeds and those kind of things. Um, and we we're, were deep enough defensively to keep on working through. And, so, and by the way, snow goes really fast. So they go about eight seconds between plays. So it really was a, a huge test for our guys. And now we're going to build off that defensively, but we're deep, and that really helps us be good. Let's talk about that depth and, and, and the areas, because we, we've talked over the last couple of years, and you know, we got guys in Tennessee and, and Penn State and all over the country that you've been sending, guys. Talk about replacing some of those leaders. You had two big leaders last year, Lee. Yeah, you know, it, it is tough. You know, Jaquan Brisker, who's playing a whole bunch of Penn State now, was a safety, but, but you know, um, we call him Tig, but, but Jair Brown, is also a Penn State commit. He's playing safety for us this year. And Dejon Warren, who you'll meet shortly, a tremendous corner. And we're great. We're really deep at linebacker and D-line. So we have seven or eight defensive linemen that can play interchangeably and six backers that can play interchangeably. And that's what won the game for us, actually, because we could have never held up with just 11 guys. Let's go over to the offensive side of the ball and let's talk about some of those positives for the Falcons. Yeah, new guys too, you know. Once again, you know, Matt, you'll meet, you'll see Matt Kettle in a second. Uh, he's our quarterback, but, but you know, uh, Nige uh, Black, of course, who's our receiver, uh, he's a Penn State commit also. Uh, he had 154 yards in the ball game. Super outside receiver. Offensive line was almost completely replaced. There wasn't an offensive lineman who played any appreciable time last year, yet they walked into snow and played well this year. So. The program has to have something to do with that. I think we get guys ready to play. Let's talk about, uh, again, you already prepared for ASA Miami, and uh, yeah. now you'll prepare for them again. Has a whole lot changed? You get to see any more film on them? Yeah, we saw another game on them. We saw them play Arkansas Baptist down in Arkansas uh, the last week they played. So it is a little bit different, but you're right. We've never really had a take two. Uh, you know, we, we were ready to play. It was Thursday when that thing all happened. So we're going to go through another week of practice with those guys. Hopefully we're better, I think, than we were two weeks ago, and that would go well for us in the game. Yeah, you talk about the, any little thing as far as, you know, you, you, you grow with the coaching staff. It's been a while since we spoke with you. Sure. So talk about, you know, a lot of still uh, solid guys on your staff that have stayed with you. Any little tweaks? Yeah, you know, we saw so Coach Pardini, who's our offensive coordinator, does a fantastic job, and Coach Reese, the defensive coordinator, did an unbelievable job on Saturday. Michael Bear, who's our quarterback coach, just, just as good as you're going to find out there. Uh, so those guys have been constant. We have young guys, too. We have David Gonzalez and Nick Flores and Brandon Swingle. And I'm going to miss some of these guys I know along the way. But we have guys who come in and really enjoy coaching very, very much and are learning as they're going. So it's really, I think, really great to see those guys come in, young guys come in. 
uh, and get better as we go. But we still have the mainstays there, too. Coach, always a pleasure to talk with you. Congratulations on the big win. But they keep getting, uh, you know, <laughs> you got to show up this week. A big win against Snow. But it's ASA Miami this weekend. We wish you the best. Thank you very much. You know, we're riding a 14-game win streak, which is, the, which is the most in the country right now. So we're looking forward to another. All right. Coach Mark Duda from the Lackawanna College Falcons.